Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. So there have been a number of different coronavirus bills, but and they're big and they've got a lot of stuff in them that's nothing to do with coronavirus. And a lot of it's bad. But here's one good thing and an interesting thing. This is in the bill that the previous administration got through in December. And it had a provision in it that started a 180 day countdown for the government to tell us everything the government knows about UFOs. That would include classified UFO sightings. Now, John Ratcliffe, who was the director of national intelligence, has said the report will have massive implications. Frankly, he said there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. Now, Chris Mellon has been on this subject more carefully than maybe anybody in the United States. He's a former Pentagon official, and he joins us tonight for a preview of what we may find out. Chris, I appreciate your coming on tonight. What do you think we're going to learn in this report? Well, thanks very much, Tucker, and thanks for drawing attention to this issue. I think it could be profound and transformative, as, um, as a former DNI, John Ratcliffe, suggested, because in 1970, when Project Blue Book concluded, the, they concluded and told the American people, we don't see any evidence of technological breakthroughs beyond anything that we can do ourselves. We don't see any evidence of uh, a threat to national security. I don't think they can honestly say either of those things in this case. And as people begin to digest that, and they are going to address this at an unclassified level, so that'll be a public statement, I think that's going to raise a lot of questions and send some shockwaves. So they've been lying. I mean, I think that's I think we can say that. And, I, you know, who knows why? But that really is the question. Why? You know, what? Why haven't we heard this before? It's it's a it's a huge deal. It could change our perception of our place in, in the solar in the universe, really. Why hasn't anyone come forward with this prior to this coming June? It's largely been a matter of stigma and people are afraid to discuss it. You know, it's shocking. And this is how I got involved. Uh, I became aware in 2016 that U.S. Navy squadrons operating off the east coast of the United States were having recurring encounters with these vehicles, and nobody in the intelligence community was responding. Nobody was supporting them. Nobody was backing them up. Nobody was investigating. It was not being reported up the chain of command. The Secretary of Defense didn't know. It wasn't a matter of concealing the information uh, in the sense of they knew it and processed it and withheld it from the public. It was a matter of hear no evil, see no evil. And that's okay as a personal choice, perhaps, but that's not what you want in the intelligence community. No, it's totally negligent and reckless, actually. Um, do you think that we'll find the government has physical evidence of these vehicles? We may. Uh, I do want to temper expectations a little bit. Um, the, the request from the Congress is not to release classified information, but to review all of the classified information, regardless of source, and then render an unclassified judgment based on that review. So it's not going to be a big document dump. Uh, it's not going to be revealing uh, necessarily new videos or, or anything of that nature. But they will be reviewing all of the information if they, if they do this in the manner that it's been requested. And then they're going to have to, off to also, also have to address who's in charge, how are we going to manage this issue going forward? Who do we think is behind this? Are there any technological breakthroughs here that we should be concerned about? So uh, there's a lot on the plate, and, um, and I think it is going to be a, a, a big deal. Man, it's just so frustrating. I wish they'd just be honest about everything. They're still, they're still hiding material from the Kennedy assassination almost mm -hmm. 60 years ago. It's just it's really remarkable. Chris Mellon, I appreciate you've done so much on this topic. I hope you'll come back. I, thank you very much for having me. Of course.